Hey there everyone, it's your Naked Vault Dweller and in this video we're going to go over some of the things that have gone on in the world of Bethesda this previous week and what you can expect to see for the weekend of October 13th through the 17th. So I don't know about you guys, but some weird stuff is going on inside Bethesda. Now we know that Bethesda was purchased by Microsoft and probably given the ability to still make their own decisions with inside the company, so I don't think Microsoft is pulling a lot of strings, but we're starting to see some people, you know, move on to bigger and better things. And not so much necessarily bigger and better things. I'm not really wanting to word it just like that because Bethesda's, you know, brought us some great games. But it's just weird that we're seeing a lot of people kind of go off into the sunset and the new people were kind of taking their place. Nate Valenta, who was a community manager for Fallout 76, left Bethesda on October 7, 2022. And what I think to be a super ironic thing was that he was supposed to be part of a community live stream on Twitch that very same day. And as far as I know, I've checked everywhere and that community live stream never happened. They had planned it nonetheless and you can see it in this graphic right here. And I'm sure Bethesda had him sign an NDA. They also probably had him sign a non-disparagement clause, which means that you can't talk bad about the company. If there's anything to even talk bad about, just curious why this particular day Valseek decided to leave. And I might be making a mountain out of a molehill here. I actually liked Valseek quite a bit. He just was a stand-up kind of guy. Now, there's a lot of other community managers that are or stand up to and I like them as well but Valseek I wish you the best in your endeavors wherever you decide to go to and if you ever want to join our discord and hang out with us you are definitely welcome to at any time. In your opinion what do you think happened to Valseek? Did the invaders from beyond come and snatch him up or did Bill Gates himself come down and say Valseek come work on Windows based products with us? Make sure to post a comment down below about that I cannot wait to read your responses. Moving right along to the Invaders from Beyond event that ends on October 18th. Hopefully you've done all the Invaders from Beyond that you'll ever want to do and collected all the plans that you've needed to collect. Personally, I think this event's a lot of fun, especially when they first kick it off, but running it two weeks is cumbersome, especially whenever it's part of your daily challenges. Have I collected all the plans this time around? H to the no. That gives me an opportunity to collect them next time they do the Invaders from Beyond event. Bethesda that has updated their Fallout shelter on mobile devices. Now, I haven't played it in a while, but I do intend to download it again to my phone. And well, why not? It's a free download, and you can also download it for Windows-based devices if you go to the Microsoft Store. I know when my son downloaded this game about a year ago, weird things happen when you change the time on your computer. You should experiment with that. Bethesda has also announced that they're giving a free sample of the Fallout first. It's going to run through October 11th through the 17th. And with this free sample, you'll get your very own free scrap box where you can store all the junk that you want to between the 11th and the 17th. And while Bethesda is giving this free trial, players are going to locations where treasure maps can be opened and they just take on a ton of junk from those treasure maps. Anyway, after the free trial is over with, you just hang on to your scrap box and pull out stuff as you need it. Of course, you're not going to be able to put stuff back in, but that's part of the point. If you're a fan of the music inside of Fallout, you can visit Spotify where Bethesda has put up a number of songs songs from previous fallouts, including Fallout 76, where you can listen to those songs all day long. And I'm going to put a link down in the description of this video going back to Spotify for Bethesda's playlist for all the Fallout music they've got posted. So make sure if you do have a chance, you go check that out. Okay, so for the weekend of October 13th through the 17th, you can expect to see a Caps of Plenty weekend. And for the players out there that are not familiar with a Caps of Plenty weekend, you can go to a vendor and you get double the caps selling stuff. So you can just sell a pile of stuff. So that's really what boils down to. And you have to the 17th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to do that. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for the weekend of October 13th through the 17th. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up and I've got to go see a man about a dog. Love you. Bye. Slow. Okay. I got you right where I want you. Oh, hey, we made it to the end of the video. Hey, if you look up here, I just want to give a special thanks to these fine folks who participated in making this video happen. Now, if you excuse me, I have a death claw to kill. Where did it get?